C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Chapter 1 To Do Bad Things In A Corner Of The Restaurant, Two Women Were Sitting Side By Side On A Table. Their faces were covered by a dining plate as they peeked over to a table while whispering to each other. Did you see it clearly? Table 6. With your back to the man in the dark suit, he's your target. Xiao Yida looked at the back of the man at the table, and said with gritted teeth and hatred in his eyes. When she found out that he had come for the blind date today, her sister couldn't wait to rush over with two kitchen knives to destroy the blind date. Fortunately, her rationality had the upper hand. After some thought, she switched the kitchen knife to her younger sister seeing that she did not say anything, Xiao Yida nudged her with his elbow, and unhappily asked. Did you hear what I've told you? Xiao Luda straightened his body, and said with extreme unwillingness. Why do you want me to go destroy it? I'm not going. If you want to go, go by yourself. Hey! It's the opposite of you, isn't it? Xiao Yida suppressed his voice and said unkindly. I'll tell you, you will have to go today, even if you don't want to. If not, humph, humph. She shook the phone in her hand, Xiao Lu glared at her, Sis, every time you use this tactic to threaten me, won't you change one of them? It's a hundred times a day. Xiao Yida raised his eyebrows and said provocatively. Xiao Lu looked at his phone deeply. There were a few photos of her being drunk and embarrassed, and they were too much to look at. However, it was always in elder sister's hands. Why must I go? Xiao Lu De still did not compromise, and continued to ask this question until the end, Xiao Ye De glanced over there, and taunted. Why would I do such a shrewd thing? How damaging to my image. I'm going to do the trapping later. Then it won't harm my image. Xiao Lu De could not hold it in anymore, and raised his voice a little, Xiao Ye De immediately covered her mouth and asked anxiously. Why are you shouting so loudly? You did it on purpose, didn't you? Then he let go of her and said, Cut the crap, go quickly. Do as I told you before, and do it beautifully. Xiao Lu De took a deep breath, looked at his sister with resentment, and threw down the words, I'll steal those photos sooner or later, before rushing to table 6. When Dan Chenghao looked at the face in front of him that had been altered too much, he was annoyed. In his heart, he scolded his little brother, Dan Cheng Lai, until his head was drenched in dog blood. She had clearly arranged a blind date for him, but he had actually forced himself to come here. Mr. Dan, I heard that your Ning Yuan group is entering the entertainment industry this year. Coincidentally, I've also learned two years of acting. At that time, Mr. Dan will definitely promote me. When the matchmaker said that, suddenly had the feeling that a zombie was talking, and his brows knitted even deeper that he nodded perfunctorily and said, the specific details have yet to be finalized. Everything is still unknown. The matchmaker smiled as she covered her mouth, Mr. Dan is so modest. In the Peace City, who doesn't know that your Ning Yuan group is the leader, commanding the wind and rain, entering the entertainment circle and doing such a small thing as this. I just hope that you will not forget the past when that time comes, and not forget me. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.